This is part 11 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the jQuery checked selector. The jQuery checked selector selects all checked checkboxes or radio buttons. Look at the selector that we have here. This is going to select all input elements of type equals radio. And look at the colon checked selector at the end. This colon checked selector is going to ensure that it is only going to select those radio buttons that are checked. So let's understand this with an example. Let's design a web page that looks like this. So we want two radio buttons for gender, male and female, a submit button, and a div element to display the result. Now, when we click the submit button without selecting any of the radio buttons, then we want to display this message, no radio button selected within the div element. On the other hand, when we do have a radio button selected, in this case we have male selected, and then once we click the submit button, we want to display this message, male is checked. So let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we already have the required HTML to give us this UI. I'll have this HTML available on my blog in case you need it. Now notice we have got two radio buttons for gender, male and female, a submit button, and a div element. Within the script section we have our ready function. And when we click the submit button, that's when the processing should happen. So let's wire up a click event handler to the submit button. And notice the submit button has got an ID. So we can use the ID selector. So dollar and ID selector is the hash symbol. So hash and the ID of the button is btn submit. So this is going to return us the button. We want to wire up a click event handler. And when the click event happens, we want to execute a function. So here, we want to find all those radio buttons that are checked. So input type equals. So what is the type for a radio button? The type is radio. So we will use this attribute value. So input type equals radio. So what is this going to do? This is going to select all radio buttons, but that's not what we want. We want to select only those radio buttons that are checked. So here, I'm going to use colon checked selector. So this is going to ensure only those radio buttons that are checked are selected. OK? And let's store whatever we get back in a variable. Let's name that result. If result.length, if that is greater than 0, then we know that you know a radio button is checked. Okay? In that case, we want to display this message, you know, whatever radio button is checked. Okay, so we should get the value of the radio button and we should display that within this div result element. Okay? And again this div element has got an ID, so we can use the ID selector. So dollar hash and the ID of the div element is div result, so let's copy that. And then we are going to use the HTML method to set a value, you know, for that div element. Okay. So what what is the message that we want to display? Whatever is the um, radio button that we have checked, we want the value of that radio button. Look at it; it has got a value. And to get the value, we can use this result variable, and then call val method on that. We know that there is going to be only one radio button. Uh, checked so we can safely call val method and then to that let's append the string is checked okay now if the length is not greater than zero then that means none of the radio button is checked and in that case we want to display no radio button checked within the div element so no radio button checked. All right, so let's save these changes and reload this page. And look at this, we don't have any radio button checked. So when we click the submit button, look at that, no radio button checked. On the other hand, select male, click submit, male is checked, select female, female is checked. And here is the HTML and the jQuery code that we have just discussed. 
Now let's look at an example of using checkboxes. So look at the selector here. This is going to select all input elements of type checkbox and colon checked again is going to ensure this is going to only select those checkboxes that are checked. And let's also understand this with an example. So we are going to have you know these skills on the page and then when we click the submit button without selecting any of the checkbox then we want to display this message no checkbox checked on the other hand if we have a few checkboxes checked in this case we have three of them JavaScript C sharp and VB so first we want to display this message the number of checkboxes checked in this case three checkboxes checked and then the values of the respective checkboxes that are checked okay and we want the output to be in separate lines so three checkboxes checked in one line and then the value of each checkbox in a separate line so let's see how to achieve this so at the moment what is this selector going to do this is going to return us all radio buttons that are checked first of all we require the HTML to get you know this UI okay so to speed things up I already have typed the required HTML so let's copy this and paste it within the body section. So basically we have in a one, two, three, four checkboxes to display those four skills, JavaScript, jQuery, C sharp, and VB. And then we have the submit button and the div element to display the result. Okay. So let's save these changes and when we reload this page, we should actually get checkboxes on the page. Okay. Now within the click event handler of the button control so it's already wired up and look at this here this code is actually going to find all radio buttons that are checked but that's not what we want now we want to find all checkboxes that are checked so here instead of type equals radio I'm going to replace that with checkbox so type equals checkbox so this is going to ensure that only those checkboxes that are checked are returned okay and keep in mind now this result will have you know if I have like four three checkboxes checked for example this result will contain you know three checkbox elements okay so if result dot length is greater than zero then we know for sure you know at least one of the checkbox is checked and in that case we want to first display you know the number of checkboxes checked so for that I'm actually going to create a variable here let's call this result string and how do we get the number of elements that are checked? We can use the length property. Result.length is going to give us the number of elements that are checked. And then to that, let's append this string. Checkboxes checked. Okay. And then let's include an HTML break at the end so that um, you know the values of the respective checkboxes will come in their own separate lines. Okay. Now you know this result can contain more than one checkbox so let's loop through each checkbox element that is present within this result and then retrieve the value of the each checkbox okay so this result collection on this result collection I'm actually going to call each method so when we are iterating through each element within that result collection we want to execute some code so I'm going to include an anonymous function here and when we are looping through what we want to do we want to retrieve the value of each checkbox that is checked so dollar this is going to refer to the checkbox element that we are currently iterating over dot val should give us the value of that checkbox okay what do we want to do with that value we want to append that to this result string so result string plus equals the value of the checkbox that is selected and then let's append an HTML break so let's put that in quotes and then finally you know once we have finished looping through each element within the result collection you know we have formed the required result string so let's pass that to this HTML element which is going to set that as the value for the div element okay if the length of the result collection is not greater than zero 
then we know that no checkboxes have been checked. In that case, we want to display this message, no checkbox checked. All right, so let's save these changes, reload the page, and look at this. I select, you know, we, ha we don't have any checkbox checked. So when we click the Submit button, look at that, no checkbox checked. Let's select JavaScript C Sharp. Click the Submit button, two checkboxes checked. And we have the values of the checkboxes that are checked. So now three checkboxes checked. And here is the HTML and the jQuery code that we just discussed. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.